general versus niche versus one product store a question that is asked by many beginners who start their drop shipping store or even with experts who start their new stores they still face issues in finding whether to start a general store a niche store or a one product store in this video i'm going to help you get a clear picture and get a clear answer to this question because obviously there is no solid answer to this question this answer depends upon your capabilities and so many different factors but i am going to share all those different factors and some interesting facts with some data points in this video so that you can get a clear picture of which one is better for you so let's start so first of all i would like to show you some graphs now these graphs are from google now this is a graph for general store trend i searched on google and this is the graph i got from google now as you can see this graph is for the past five years now if we see the starting and end point of this graph, this shows us that the interest for general store has been always there. So it has never declined. It has never got up. Yeah, there are some peaks as you can see here, but these peaks are basically uh, during the Q4 when people are scaling their stores and starting new new stores to scale their products more. So yeah, so these peaks are basically during q4 but if you see in a bigger picture it's a consistent line which follows a certain pattern so this shows that general stores are always in trend they're always in demand people are always searching for general store this also means that the competition for general store is a lot and consistent because people are actively searching for general store how to create general store and all those queries now here is the graph for niche store and as you can see this is the graph for again past five years now here is the starting point for this and here is the ending point if you see in the bigger picture this graph has not gotten up by much if you see there are lows which touch the ground here and here as well right now recently it also touched the ground so that means the interest the searches for niche store hasn't been much there obviously it has got some new high peaks that means the trend is getting upwards but it is very slow it is still very low as compared to general store people are less searching for niche store and that means there is less competition in niche store now similarly if we see one product store trend then here is the graph for again past five years here is the starting point here is the end point now as you can see recently one product stores were in trend people were searching like crazy for one product store here you can see they have an ultimate new peak they have broken all their previous records and it is the graph is again going up so that means people are again searching for this one product store now that means the searches for one product stores has gotten up now when i say searches for a store has gotten up that means drop shippers are searching for these stores more these are not customers who are searching for the store these are drop shippers who are trying to make a new store and they are searching for general store and one product or niche store so basically this graph represents your competition if the graph goes up that means the competition has gotten up and if the graph goes down that means the competition is low now let me share a very interesting graph with you guys general versus niche versus one product store all three in a single graph now general store is represented by blue line niche store by red and one product store by yellow now if you see here you will see there is only one line visible and that is the blue line which is of general store where are the other two lines for niche and one product well they are here at the very bottom of the graph now what does that mean that means there is a huge 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 difference between these particular stores between general store and niche or one product stores the competition for niche and one product store is right here that means it is kind of negligible in front of the competition there is right now for general store people are actively searching for general store every day every hour but for niche store and for one product store you can see it is still very untapped people are not going there as much people are still staying with general store now there are two conclusions that you can get from this particular thing one there is a lot of competition second general stores 
are working right now because people are searching for it people are creating new general store that means general stores are working and they are the most efficient one that's why other people are creating so you can take two points from this one graph only now let us understand some advantages and disadvantages between each store now let us start with our general store the general store has some advantages such as you can sell any product as soon as it becomes viral so there are no limitations that you have to stay into a specific niche you can basically sell any product you like you see some product on your facebook feed and you feel like hey i can also sell that then you can just simply take the product and sell it out no branding knowledge required of course it's a general store no branding is required as such until you go for a nature one product store potential for a larger audience size again there is no niche so you can particular target any niche household a music pets anything you like you can basically go for any niche and even sky is not the limit much more potential for multiple purchases as you will do upsells and cross sells you can do bundles you can do so many things in general store because there are so many options you have different categories so you can merge them all up and you can do upsells and cross sells in your cart and get more average order value and also multiple purchases now the disadvantages for general store is profit margins for general stores are much lower because there is no branding there is nothing so basically you are competing with other general stores so you have to keep your profit margins low so that you can compete with others and your prices are not unrealistic until you are a brand more products also means more potential problems can arise well of course because you have to maintain inventory for each product you have to keep each supplier for each product and you have to make sure everyone is doing their job perfectly they are shipping in time you have to negotiate with every supplier so there is a lot of work to do with different products not as passive it requires far more ongoing work to run a store with multiple products now because it's a general store it is usually more hard to rank through seo and as you cannot focus on a single product so you create content for different type of products so you end up getting audience from different different niches which you cannot use such with email marketing and retargeting because every different customer is having a different interest on your store someone is liking your household product someone is liking your pets product so you cannot basically bundle them up and show them an ad or you can do email you have to be very specific and it is not as passive because it will be very hard for you to rank for specific products as your store is a general store and it focuses on every product more time is required for setup with the number of products you need to add to the store as we know there are different different products that you need to add to your general store for testing so basically you will be adding new new products every day you have to do test and this is a lengthy process and it requires your time energy efforts you have to create new description every time you have to do images you have to create ad creatives so there are so many things you have to do with general store and it's not easy now let us discuss the advantages and disadvantages of one product store the advantages are usually only one supplier to collaborate with because it's just one product so you need only one supplier who can handle your all orders so there is no brainstorming for different suppliers profit margins can be higher as branded products have a larger perception of value now because now you are the brand you are showing yourself as a brand you can charge a premium price a higher price as compared to your competition you are standing out from your competition so you can charge pretty much anything you want seo is easier to rank for with a specific product now as i told you in general store because you are targeting so many products it's harder to get seo but here seo is easier because you are only targeting a specific product your whole store is around a specific product so the seo becomes so much easy and also the conversion rate is usually higher once the store is established and optimized now because your store is already built around one store so it gives other users and your customers a lot of confidence in believing that yes you are actually a brand and you can solve their problem and you are a legitimate company so it automatically increases your conversion rate without doing much hassle more returning customers because you are a brand now so people will prefer to buy from you rather than going from a general store and buying some cheap products if you give them the best service and satisfactory products then they will buy from you again and again now let's discuss for some disadvantages of one product store 
smaller audience size because you have only one product so you are super niche specific and the audience size for this product will be limited it could be in thousands or it could be in hundreds too so the audience is small and that you have to keep in your mind one product stores need to be branded to be successful you cannot run a uh, one product store without branding that's basically a general store with one product so it's really important that you brand your one product store or else you will not stand out from your competition you have to do the branding to get all those good good sales with a single product you are putting all your eggs in one basket now that's a risky thing because you are doing product research and you like one product now without any data without testing much you are putting all your eggs in one basket you are creating a whole store around it you are buying a domain for it you are running ads for just one product and putting all your efforts on this product so it's kind of very risky thing because if the product doesn't work then you have to start over all again and it would be a painful thing it you have to do the hard work again and again but for general store you know you have one store you can add different products and try as many products as you want higher failure rate in the beginning stages more often than if selling multiple products one product stores usually fails in the beginning if you somehow manage to get sales and get profitable in the beginning then the rest of the journey is pretty easy it is easier than before that is the best thing about one product store so all the hard work you have to do for the beginning in the starting and then everything starts to build up by itself and you get big and big and big day by day now i am not going to tell you the advantages and disadvantages for niche store why because niche store lies right in the middle of general store and one product store so they are just right in the middle and every advantage and every disadvantage of one product store or general store you can implement them to niche store because niche store has properties of a general store too and a one product store so there is nothing new which i'm going to add for niche stores so yes they are in the middle so you can put any disadvantage or any advantage of any one product or general store in niche store and you will understand how a niche store looks like i don't want to repeat the same thing again that's why i'm not putting the advantages and disadvantages for the niche store now let us understand some differences between niche or general and one product stores now here as you can see niche stores do require some branding knowledge as you are are targeting a specific audience of buyers therefore a store needs to be themed towards this audience because your store is having limited products so it is your duty to make sure all those products fall in the same category and your whole store looks themed enough for those particular products and the category with a general store your audience is everyone and therefore as long as the store looks professional it doesn't need to feel branded to a specific audience It is also a great way of learning the process of running ads. You can try multiple ad types and various platforms for the different types of products you are selling. This will give you an idea as to what works and what doesn't. General stores are best for beginners. You can learn how to test products, you can learn how to run ads, you can pretty much mess up everything and still get sales. General stores are really good if you are a beginner without even thinking just go with a general store. With a one product store you can only run a single test at a time it may take a lot of time to find the best advertising route for your product or you may be testing for weeks before realizing the product just is not working now that happened to me as well i tried so many products with just one product stores they never worked so i ended up losing so many days so much hard work so much effort that i put in the money i put in in the ads i lost everything but that's what one product drop shipping is all about so it is very risky and make sure you know what you are doing before going into a one product store you you need to have the skills and expertise before going into a one product store now the question analysis which one is for you this is the real question right this is what you guys are looking for this is what many drop shippers are looking for right people need to know which one is for them well to answer this you need to ask yourself a few questions first first are you a complete beginner if yes go for a general store because as i said you can mess up anything and still have sales you can learn so much things have you got any knowledge of branding if yes then go for niche store or a one product store if no then go for a general store have you created an e-commerce store before 
If yes, then you can go for a niche product or one product store. If no, go for general store, obviously. Are you looking for a more passive income stream? Without any doubt, go for a niche store or one product. If not, then go for a general store. If you want to get some short term cash, if you want to earn money faster, quickly, and you just want some short term cash flow for you. So go for a general store if you are not looking for a passive income stream. Have you got any experience with creating ads? Yes, then you can go with a niche or one product store. If no, go with a general store. These are the questions you need to ask yourself. If you have answered them all, then you will have a clear picture of which store is better for you because I have already told the differences. I have shown you the graphs. I have shown you the data. I have told you the advantages and disadvantages. So everything you need is now you have and it's now the time to make a decision. But as a newbie, a general store is the easier option. By this, you can afford to make mistakes with your store and still have sales. So without any doubt, if you're a beginner, go with a general store. You don't even need to ask this question. Now let's talk about the conclusion from all this. The best option is to sell multiple products. Find which product is performing best and then transition into a niche or one product store. This way you have validated the product before going to all the trouble of building a one product niche store based on some data. If you test multiple products and you get some data, you know that, hey, these products are selling, these are working for me. I have low CPCs here. I have good ROI in this product. I have good ROAS here. So basically, if you have some data, then you can make some solid decisions. Then you can transform those products to a niche or a one product store. Then it would be much more meaningful because now you are not risking it all. You have the data, you know these product sells and you know what angle you have used to sell those. You can simply implement the same thing with the niche of one product store and your conversion rate will be much higher. You will build more authority with one product or niche stores and you will get more sales. But remember, don't presume you know what will sell and the best way to sell without testing it first. Even the best drop shippers in the world still regularly fail. I hope this whole statement makes sense to you. It's just a hit and try method. If you have the expertise, you know what you are doing, then you can go for one product or a niche store without some data. But if you don't know what you're doing, what you're selling, will it sell or not? You have no idea, then go and try multiple products and then transition into a one product or a niche store. And again, remember it, even the best dropshippers in the world still regularly fail. So if you fail, never think that you don't know how to do things. It's just you haven't found what's working right now. So simply, you have to test different things. And I hope I helped you getting a better, clear picture. And this video has become lengthy because I covered everything you need before making a conclusion. And I hope that you have made a conclusion and if not you have a better and clear understanding of what you will be picking and going with so yeah guys that is pretty much it for this video do comment me if you have any other questions and yeah i will catch you in the next video till then take care bye bye and thank you a car pulls up who can it be a fresh rolls royce with a real og he rolled down his window and he started to say you need to shop a five mentor to up your game because the stores on the web but what we make we keep running the mats we keep killing the game knowing nothing in life but the way to get paid you can quote me boy here's the link